Perfect. Good, do that. Can I have the box, please? Because people find out that you do this magic stuff, and it's always amazing to me that what they do is they say, how did you get started in this? Because that's not the first question they ask you. The first thing they say to you is, what do you do for a living? Now, this is actually what we do for a living, believe it or not. And I got started because I was tricked into magic. I thought it was real. I was convinced that there was such a thing as real magic. I went through a high school, paging through catalog after catalog, trying to find one item that was real. Head note, please, that's a gesture for take. Please. I'm, I'm sorry, could you just take that and ex examine that, look at it? Where are you from? Where's home for you? That's a tough question. Sorry? That's a tough question. Oh, I see, okay. But I just, I actually, I asked that question just to make sure people speak English. Okay, all right. So if you could just check that over, keep checking it over, I'll get back to you. And could you take this over here? Take that, there, yeah, good. Check it over there. Yeah, check that out. Make sure it's really good, nice and solid. And I, I went through high school, paging through catalog after catalog, trying to find one item that was real. Had no trap doors, no hidden assistance. Honest to goodness, real magic. Never found it. Not that it doesn't exist, because it does. It's just illegal. <laughs> Breaks the laws of nature, magic does. It's what it's meant to do. Anything wrong with a ring? Any breaks or gaps or holes in it? No? You see the one big hole right through the center? Yeah, good. They put that there to keep it from being a plate. <laughs> I thank you for that smile. I'm glad you like that. Thank you so much. Anything wrong with the shoelace? Nope. Can you toss it up here? That's right. That's right. So we have two solid objects, a ring and a rope. Now, the other law of nature, uh, gravity, for example, that's a really good idea. But the other law of nature is uh, it's actually the law, not just a good idea. So the other thing is you can't pass two solid objects one through the other. So if I now make a little ring out of the rope, I now have two rings. I have a ring of steel, and I have a ring of rope. And if I want to bring the ring of steel from out here to the middle of the ring of rope, I would have to untie that knot, slip an end through, retie the knot around the ring. I could never simply take the ring like so and just give it a little toss and have it tied onto the center of the rope. I couldn't do that, but I can create the, that usually gets an ooh at least, or a little something. Yeah, thank you so much. Some people find this a very convincing illusion. It actually looks like it's tied right on there. Uh, is it a convincing illusion? It actually looks like it's on there. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Would you do me the greatest of favors, please, and just and grab a hold? Yeah, hold, hold. We'll even them up a little bit, but just hold tight, if you would, please. Hold tight. Don't pull. Just hold tight. Uh, don't believe a magician. If he claims he can take a ring and put it onto a rope or take it off, he really can't do it. But he'll make it look like it. <laughs> make it look like it happens. Uh, you can let go. It's really too late. Thanks. Can you grab around over there? Hold that. Don't pull it. Just hold tight. I can take the ring like so. I can place it onto the rope. I can twist it on. I can tie it on. I can't really take it off, but I can create the illusion that it comes off. As you're staring at this ring, it will actually look as though that ring comes off the rope. It doesn't really come off. You want to take it off, you have to pull it off. Now it's off. You're not getting this. Okay, you can let go. <laughs> As a child, we all have our dreams. My dream as a child was to take a ring and a rope, a strange childhood, was to take a ring and a rope and take the ring from out here and just give it a little toss like this and have it tied onto the center of the rope. I know, cool, huh? Yeah, thanks. So, uh, and some people, sometimes what people will say is they say, I bet you couldn't do that with my ring. Are you wearing rings? Oh, lovely, lovely. Uh, try saying that. Try, I bet you couldn't do that with my ring. Okay, we'll try. All right, so um, choose a nice expensive one. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. That's really gorgeous. Nice. Okay, and tell me your name. Catherine. Catherine. Hi. Oh, I didn't get your name. I'm so sorry. Leanne. Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Nice to meet you. And you are? Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. And Leanne and uh, Catherine. Uh, Catherine, I'm going to do the same thing with your ring that I just did with mine. Once this ring goes onto the rope, is there any way to get that off? Yes, exactly right. You hold the ring in the left hand, you pull slowly with the right, immediately it's free. You can do this at home. <laughs> Fool the family, stump the dog. <laughs> you ever do dog matching? <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's actually really fun. You take a little piece of food, you pretend to place it in one hand, wave it under the dog's nose, toss it up in the air, and the dog goes... <laughs> 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 they get real upset when you do that. It's not cruel, however. No, cruel is if you take a piece of food, throw it on top of a glass table, watch them jump for it. <laughs> yeah, you'll try it. <laughs> She's going, do you think that really works? I don't know. Yeah, actually, it does work. So I'm going to do the same thing with Catherine's ring that I just did with mine, but I'm not going to do the magic. You are. Uh, Leanne, if you could hold out your left hand, if you would, please. That would be a good choice of hands. Good choice. Uh, I'm going to ask you to hold onto the ring just like that. Hold, that's right. And could you, uh, could you uh, sir, do you mind? Just hold on to that end. Don't pull. Just hold on to that end. And uh, Michael, if you would, please just over there. Bring your hand in a little bit like that. And now keep the ring in your hand, but sort of slide your ring in the hand down there and then back this way, not too close to the end, and then back this way, and then back to the center and stop. 
Now, you haven't taken it close to either end, so there's no way to get that off until I do this. Would you slowly open your hand? Whoa. Nicely done. Give her a nice round of applause for that. Well done. You hear that enthusiasm? They loved it. Yeah, beautifully done. Well done. As a matter of fact, you did so well, we're going to give you another chance. Uh, so here's what I'd like to have you do. Uh, I'd like to have you just hold on to the, uh, exactly, I'd like to have you hold on to the ring, just sort of reach through left little fingers, like little pincher fingers, just like that. Yeah, exactly, and just, you will just hold it just like that. Now you'll feel that ring getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It'll actually feel like it's melting away. No? Not, no. Not, not, <laughs> nothing, huh? Okay, all right, thank you, Michael, if you don't mind. Just hold on to that, please, there you go. Uh, it'll feel like it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It'll feel like it's literally vanishing. Not so much. Okay, lower it into my hand. Now, the thing you don't want to do is crush it like that, because that could cause damage, but not when it disappears like that. So thank you very much. You guys have been great sports. Your exit will be right out through that door over there. Uh, one not quite happy camper. Okay, so could you pass that box right over to Leanne over here? There you go. Do me a favor. Uh, just open up the box. Take a quick peek inside. Tell everybody what's in there. Cracker Jacks. Box of Cracker Jacks, exactly. <laughs> what were you expecting? That's right. No, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. That's right. That's right. Great. Open it up. Take a look and see what's in there. What is it? Oh, beautiful flower. Hold the hot flower up so I can see it all the way in the back. Oh, 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 excuse me. There's a ribbon there, and there's actually something that you're, uh, you're just holding it there. There you go. You can see there's something inside. There was a package attached to the flower, and inside of this package that you were guarding the whole time, that you then took out of the Cracker Jack box, inside of there there's paper, more paper, uh, and inside of there there is a ring. Yes. Yeah, she's going to reach for it. She's going, oh, I'll take that. Exactly, right, exactly. There you go. And as a matter of fact, you'll see that this ring looks exactly like the ring you were wearing just moments ago. It fits exactly like the ring you were wearing moments ago. And that's because this is the ring you were wearing moments ago, and you may keep this ring as a souvenir of the show. Thank you. Give her a nice round of applause. And the flower you can keep for being such a beautiful assistant. Thank you. <laughs>